So what's going on everybody? Today I'm going to start Season 2 of the Amateur Bass Tournament uh, Series. Uh, I'm doing uh, Plant Fishing Sim World Pro Tour. And we're going to do the uh, career mode. Um, what I plan on doing is, if you can already tell, I've already played it through the first I've already played the first season and I've already got two sponsors uh, the first time you ever play it sponsors really are not going to be a big concern but, I mean they do give you extra money depending on how you place and stuff <sighs> but that's that's about it other than that and they get you know you get some de uh, some prices off of your tackle and stuff from the um but that's about it um, now, in the pros, that might make a big difference, but as an amateur, it, it's not going to really matter. Um, I won the first season. Uh, one point, got in the lead, and stayed in the lead the whole time. Uh, season two, I'm bringing you guys along with me. And what I'm planning on doing is every video is going to be of the different lakes in the season. And in between those tournaments, I'm going to do a practice round. Um, with one exception, and that's the first video. Um, Spring Creek Open is on Lake uh, Gunnersville in Alabama. I don't need to do a uh, practice round on that. Uh, there's only two spots that I fish on Gunnersville, and there's no need for me to practice on it. That I know of. Uh, so we're gonna start next event. I am gonna show you the tackle box though. Um, my first rod, I use Yum Christy Crawl, the Green Pumpkin Purple Flake as my all time favorite go to bait, followed by the Watermelon Candy, and then the Rattle Trap Gizzard Chat Pattern. That's what I use, and they always seem to work. So that's what we're doing. Uh, the rules, the event rules, is total score. That means it's the total weight of all the fit, all the bass that you catch. That is legal limit size. Um, it's only one round. It's 20 minutes. Uh, weather conditions: clear sky. It's morning. Um, qualifying species is the three bass species that are in Lake. Uh, Gunnersville, I think largemouth, smallmouth, and uh, spotted bass or red or the red eye bass. So we're not going to do a practice tournament. We're going to start this, and we're going to see how we're how we do in this. So y'all just hang tight. Hi there, and welcome to the next event on the tour. With prize money and tour points up for grabs, there's a lot at stake for each of our competitors. So let's take a look at the rules ahead of today's competition. Okay, so round one. Uh, round one rules is the best five weight bass uh, for total score. Uh, let's see here. This is what I can get. My max bonus if I finish in the top 25. It, uh, first place is $3,973. So I can roughly get about <clears throat> probably 7000 for this if I finish in the top with both of my uh, sponsors I have. <clears throat> right now in the game as far as money wise go, I don't know what you can do with it. Um, I wish you could use it to buy a tackle and stuff, but Right now they got another currency going on that you use to actually buy your tackle with. So we're going to see how this plays out. 
uh, heads up, I do not use my trailer motor except to use it for like a spot lock situation. I don't cruise around with, a, with it. I just pop it down, use it like a spot lock, <clears throat> like you would a power pole. They don't have power poles in a game, so here we go, guys. Right now, I'm in 100th position, so let's go. Round one. And they did not... Let me choose where I wanted to spawn in at. Which is cool because it's just on the other side of this bridge here. Uh, I am using this boat. I uh, bought the uh, expansion pack type ordeal to get this boat. Uh, this is not even the bridge that I fish. see here map Oof. yeah I got a long way to go um, actually let me see if I can fast travel yeah let's fast travel down here tournament's already started it's fine it ain't gonna take long for me to catch up with them let's get in the boat here <coughs> save a little bit of time you know, we've lost probably a minute uh, nobody's caught nothing yet, which is all good. You see a bunch of fish on the fish finder. Ooh, let me slow down. Let me slow down. All right, well. All right, if it goes up on the rock. I'm gonna drag it back a little bit. Almost came close to losing that one. All right, we got him. Uh, let's see how big this one is. Four pounds, twelve ounces, not bad. Not bad at all. Casting method. Four strike, yeah. Let's see. I got sixteen minutes left on one down by three pounds. Um, I think first tournament for the first season, I think I got out of here with like 40 something pounds. <clears throat> and there's some big ones over here. You can catch them off these rocks and around this bridge, up to about 12 pounds. So, yeah, that's a beautiful bass right there. He's a nice one. Another four pounder. Okay, so that puts me, that should put me in the lead. Yep. That's not enough though. We got to secure this. I need at least 20 pounds. Look at there. Just let that Christy cross sink, baby. That's all you got to do. Let it slow fall. These bass and these rocks can't stand it. 
I actually use, when I'm using this game, I actually use it in real life too, so as far as the Christie Crawls go, I love them. And I fish them the same way, I flip them around rip rough like this, rocks, lay downs. <clears throat> I usually throw them on a bait caster. Uh, but I found it's easier to flip and pitch with the open facing in the video game. So, yeah, put some drag on this guy. Up oh, here we go. He should be coming in here soon. Oh, back off the drag a little bit. I think this one's gonna be possibly bigger than the first two. <clears throat> I see him tied for first right now. We've got 14 minutes and 40 seconds left. There you go. It's a nice largey. Seven pounds. Nice. Throw the motor back down. Flip her back over there. That was a short flip. Ah oh, man, I screwed that one up. That was a nice bass. That would put me well over 20 pounds. So let me guys know, do y'all try to go for catch as many as the small ones you can as fast as you can? Or would you rather waste uh, a little bit of time to catch the bigger ones? Because I'd be interested to know. Ah, oh, poor strike. I gotta get better on my strikes. But if I can keep the tension on him right and play him right, I can still get him in. And it will possibly put us in the lead. He's a nice one. It's probably going to be about four, maybe five pounds. go too much on drag. Come on. Yeah, he's fixing to give up. There it is. Let's slip him. Oh, he's a hog. Look at him. I love the colorations. Seven pounds. All right. Here we go, guys. 24 pounds already in the lead, baby. And we'll just bloop, flip this back down, let this sink a little bit. Oh, we got a little dink. Oh no, we might not. It's hard to tell, look like a little dink. But every pound counts, so. Every pound counts. Yeah, it's a little small one. It's probably under four. Which I'm cool with. Play with the drag a little bit on him. Make this interesting. Now you gotta be careful fishing around this bridge over here because Sometimes you'll catch freaking monster catfish, uh, some kind of trout, uh, crappy, or crappie, wherever you're at, however you pronounce them. So, you know, yeah, and here we go. Nice. What's this, a spot? Is that a, nope, that's a smallmouth. Six pounds. All right. Well, that just gave us 30 pounds. I 
think one more on this Christy Crawl and I might swip it, switch over to a rattle trap. Might. I don't know. I just love this Christy Crawl. Who look at that pig follow it up. Let's flip it back over there. Poor strike. Mm. They just love their rip raft, man. So awesome. <laughs> And I also have named fish in here, um, which was supposedly supposed to be the biggest one, you know, the biggest fish of that species, whatever, on that lake. Got the coloration on this one. He's almost like white, silver, purple head. He's a spot, beautiful spotted bass. But I've caught bass in here and other fish that were weighed a lot more that was not named. Uh, so obviously the spotted bass don't keep because he's not the heaviest. Ooh, got a perfect strike. This is a big one. This one will keep if I can get him in. If I can get him in, he will keep. Uh, the one thing that this game is missing, I think, that would make it better as far as tournament wise goes, is crappie tournament. I like to see them do a lot with it, honestly, with this game. Crappie tournaments would be nice, catfish tournaments would be nice. Um, you know, I think they, if they had the fish in here, it wouldn't be hard to, you know, set the rules and stuff like that for it. You know, something I would like to see happen. I've definitely played a lot more. Um, I haven't done the carp fishing, just because I'm not big on carp <laughs> with a carp tournament. But if that's something you guys want to see uh, when we get through with the the bass fishing tournaments. We'll do a carp fishing tournament playthrough. Um, that'd be interesting to see how that would actually work. Come on, pull him back. There he is, pull him back. Hey, he's wanting to go deep. See, this is what I'm saying. You want to waste this time trying to catch these fish that are this big that, I mean, you're you know you're basically wasting time but at the same time I do have a comfortable lead and here he is he's coming in what is he 12 look at the hog on that big female Ooh, look at that belly 10 pound largey yes sir she'll count what we at 30 something pounds 36 pounds awesome Awesome, awesome, awesome. Let's flip over here one last time. And then I'm going to throw something else. I think I'm going to throw the rattle trap. Ooh, look at him come up and get it. Look, old Mr. Catfish right there. Alright, let's swap rods. Got him. <laughs> that 
drag down a little bit. There we go, guys. Got a fish on the rattle trap. I don't know if y'all can see, but there's a few of them chasing it. <laughs> so there we go. I don't think this is going to put me over 40. But uh, I think it's going to be close. I think it's going to be close. We'll just have to wait and see. Six pounds, 11 ounces on the rattle trap. Not bad, not bad. Got four minutes left. Ooh, we got us a big one right here. Oh, do we have us a big one. Get him in. Love to be able to get him in. He would help us a lot on this. A lot. Man, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get this one in before time runs out. I really don't know. We'll see. Time's a ticking. I need him. I need him. Yes, we did it. We did it. We got him in. <laughs> oh, a nine pounder. Oh man, that is just so beautiful. All right, well we got two minutes left. Let's see if we can um, see if we can't hoist in another one real quick. I don't remember. No, when time runs out, if you have a fish on and you ain't got it in yet, they don't count it. So that big one, follow it. Here he comes, here he comes. Ah, oh, unsuccessful. Let's throw it back over there. That big old bass over here. I don't worry about that eggs. It's a bad cast, but here we go. We've got two minutes left, guys. Let's see what we can do. Unsuccessful. He hit it so hard. <laughs> Wasn't ready for that one. Got him. I'll put the drag all the way on him. See if I can't get him in. Oh. oh, he's going around the boat. I know he's making y'all dizzy. I'm sorry. Come on, I got one minute left. Oh, we got him in. Yes. That's how you power fish that rattle trap, baby, on that hook set. Got him. Smalley, six pounds. Six pounds, three ounces. Well, guys, I think it's safely to say that, um, yeah, 41 pounds, 7 ounces, um, definitely say we 
got this one on the bag. And this is why I don't even practice for Gunnersville. I mean this this spot right here is just way too way too good. Look at that bass just come in from nowhere. There's another one. Just look at them. They just come in, guys. And it's like that all over the place. Put a little wanky dank cast out here because it's not going to matter. Got 13 seconds left. Even if one did bite. Oh, look, that one just come up and got it. <laughs> I just had it sitting there. Poor strike. And that's it, guys. That's it. How cool is that? The bridal trap was just sitting there on the water, and he just come out of nowhere and smashed it. So, let's see. We caught spotted, smallies, and large. Um, starting at the top, going the way down. That's the uh, fish that we caught him in. Uh, so, there we go. That's it. We've got round one tournament in. And that is the Spring Creek Open on Lake Gunnersville in Alabama. And here we go. First place. Man, that was ridiculous. All I needed was 18 pounds to win that. And I kind of went overboard with it. So, I mean, there you go, guys. Points. End of event. Points leader. Uh, yes, we're only leading by one point. But um, as time goes on, that will change. Um, so hopefully, yeah, we can start it good with uh, first place. Let's see if we can keep it like that the rest of the season. And there we go. Uh, Spring Creek, I got uh, 5,000. Uh, my net worth is now 36,635. Got picked up 200 new f uh, followers. I got my sponsors uh, earning. And there we go, guys. That is it. Um, let's see what we got next week. And uh, I want to check out the Bass Pro, Pro Shops equipment pack. <laughs> but I'll do that off camera. So, next week we have Sandy uh, White Oak. White Oak. Um, phew, yep. We will definitely do White Oak next video guys so thank y'all y'all stay tuned uh